for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hello and welcome back to our tutorials on creating CSS navigation. You can see here I've got just a very basic HTML document and it basically just has a navigation system inside of it. And there's a div, an opening div called navigation that I'm going to use in my styles and I've just got four links right here. And the style sheet that we're going to create is going to work with this effect right here. You may have seen this on some websites where they have a line up top and then as you hover over it there's sort of a block that comes into that position. So that's the style sheet that we're going to create for this particular horizontal navigation. So I've gone ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click on my styles here and I'm going to delete what I put in there and here we are back at just the plain old HTML, unstyled HTML list. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by opening up my navigation div and beginning to format the UL or the unordered list tag. And I want to do a couple of things um, there. First thing I want to do is I want to put a bottom border on these. So I'm going to go ahead and do bottom border and it's going to be a one pixel border. It's going to be black. Again, you can use the short three digit code for colors or the long six digit code and it's going to be a solid line. So I'm going to go ahead and close that off and we'll click over here and we see we get a border on the bottom of the UL. But that isn't quite what we wanted because we want these items to be displayed horizontally instead of vertically. So to change that I've got to go ahead and create a second style. And this second style again I'm going to confine it to the navigation div and it's going to format the LI tag. And I'm going to say instead of listing these individually I want to change the display to inline. And then I'm going to close that style off. And now when I click over here, you'll see that my items are now horizontal. And the UL border now takes care of all that. But now they're running into each other. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of margin on here. And the exact amount of margin you put on entirely depends upon um, what you are doing as far as your design goes. But I'm going to go ahead and put 20 pixels of padding left and right and zero pixel, I'm sorry, margin and zero pixels of margin top and bottom. And you'll see that spaces those characters out for me. Now I need to create a third style here and that's going to be the format, the A tag here. And I just want to do one thing on the A tag and that's I want to take any text decoration off because I don't want the double line here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the text decoration property and the none value. So again all that does is took the underlines off of my links. And then the last style that I need to create is going to be the style that works when there's actually a hover effect. So I'm going to go ahead and use the pseudo style a hover. And what I want to do is I want to modify this bottom border here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, copy it, come down here and just paste it in place. Close it, save it, and when I hover over it you're going to see a little change there, but not much. Let's go ahead and let's change the color of this. Let's go ahead and change it to red and let's make it larger. I'm going to go ahead and make it five pixels here. And then save and I'll click over here and now 
you'll see I'm getting that effect. And I could do the same thing. I didn't have to change the color. I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more. And that's probably a little more common to have the thin line and the thick line be the same. I'm going to go ahead and make this even larger. I'm going to make it 10 pixels. And you can see it even more dramatically. Now, the thin line is actually aligned almost with the top of that border. Well, let's say you want it to be in the center of that. I'm going to come back up here to the UL tag. And because that border is on the UL, I'm going to go ahead and do margin bottom. And I'm going to select five pixels, something large. Save it. And now let's see what that does. Yeah, it didn't do anything there, did it? Well, let's try padding bottom. That time you saw the line move down. And now you'll see with padding, the thick line is more or less in the center of the thin line. So I'm going to go ahead and just bump that up just a little bit. So I'm going to change this padding value to 4 pixels. Save it. You saw it moved up there just a little bit. And that looks like it's just about in the center. So that's how you create this style of CSS horizontal navigation. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.